You guys, I bet you were like, I'm not gonna see Alex till next week. Well, miracles do happen. <laughs> okay, I um, I did a video on Tuesday this week and just to, like schedule out my week properly. And then I was like, well, Thursday I'm going to work, but I like I could like to like a surprise video. So I decided to do that. Can I stop? I honestly stop touching your hair. Like it's just I know it's so fucking gross. Like it's just a nervous thing. It's like. And whatever, I, I know it's disgusting, what am I supposed to do? I don't even realize I'm doing it until I see myself. It's just really gross. Um, anyway, so you guys, I just figured, I had like one thing to talk about and I wanted to show you guys this new coffee. I know that you guys, a lot of you guys are like obsessed with coffee like I am and like very picky. Um, so I was gonna bring you along with me today with that. Another thing is, in my last fucking vlog, did you guys notice, go back and look, actually don't even look because I was, I almost like, didn't even put it up because I was so ashamed of myself. But the way my seat was, was it was very like, I like to ride like, I like to like ride low, you know what I mean? Like I don't, not really low, not like, not like gangster low, but I like to ride lower. I like to have my seat back a little bit more like, cause these are like bucket seats, so it's very comfortable. So I really liked, I like to have like, have like a wide area to sit in. Like I put like the, the leg thing all the way forward so that my legs are stretched out. I don't know, but literally I looked like my stomach was this big because of the way that, uh, anyway, whatever. So I think I like fixed it so I'm like sitting up properly because I, like it was just so bad. I, I almost was like, oh my God, like Alex, really? You literally look like you have like a whole turkey in your stomach. Not that, actually no one person wrote anything mean, so maybe it's just me, but then you guys are gonna go back and be like, yeah, you look fucking huge. <laughs> okay, why am I stuck behind this truck? I'm literally stuck behind a cement mixing truck, like out of all things to be stuck behind. Anyway, so you guys, um, last week I, I need to brush out my hair, it's like too curly. I'm really dumb. Do I look like, okay, this is like the Roseanne Barr sweater. Is this like very Roseanne Barr right now? Like, am I looking like super huge? I don't know, I hope not, it's like not the goal. Um, Please do not fuck me over. Okay, so last weekend, I I love going to estate sales. I think you guys know, like, I like estate sales, I like flea markets, I like garage sales, I like thrift stores. Um, just to find, like, thing, cool, unique things. I don't, whether it's, like, even a shirt or, um, like, preferably things for my house. But, um, so I've been really into uh, estate sales lately. I love to, like, rummage through people's things. It's, like, so gross and tacky, but I really do. I love to, like, walk in people's homes. I'm, like, such a snoop. Um, so I dragged Nick with me and he's like, what? He's like, I'm not going to that. He's like, I, what am I going to look for? I'm like, we, I'm like, we have a house now. Like you should be more interested in this kind of stuff. Like, so he came with me and he like really liked it. And so now he like wants to go back again. Anyway, so last week when we went to the state sale, we had, I was like, I need to get some coffee. So the only thing around this area was a Gelson supermarket. And I'm like, I'm sure they have coffee in there. I'm going to go. This lady literally is crossing the road. She's taking one step every 10 minutes. Like she's, I'm never gonna be able to move from here. Oh my God. Can you, I'm sorry, I'm not waiting for you to, okay? Um, so I went to Gelson's and I was like, oh, I just want a coffee. I want like a black eye. What's that? Like a, a coffee with two shots in it, right? And, and then I noticed they had vanilla flavored coffee and it's not like this the sweet coffee it's just like a vanilla flavored coffee you guys it was so good okay i think that the, the it's at, it's at the bakery section i don't know what's called it's called like victor bop barnes or something i don't know i think it's a german thing i'm not really sure i loved it so much i bought the coffee like i bought um coffee grounds to use in my coffee press too i'm like i was just like so in love with it so i figured i'd bring you guys along I don't know what the situation like is in here is like in here, but I've never really had good experiences in Gelson's with the dog. Like I, the manager in this other one that I used to go to was like so mean to me. Like followed me down the aisle. With, I don't, I don't want to get in. But I'm gonna bring her. Not give a fuck. Like you're not gonna throw me out with Ming, okay? Like she's not even a fucking dog. She's like a human. Like do you not feel like stupid telling me to leave with Ming? Like she's fucking Ming. Like what is she really gonna like harm someone or like do something? She's cleaner than I bet 90% of these dirty children around here. Okay. I don't need my phone. Okay, let's just, I think I should just take these off. I feel like I'm trying too hard with sunglasses. You know what I mean? I feel like just take one thing off. I'm wearing my Acid Zelda choker. This is from my one of a kind collection that you guys loved. Oh, I should recap that with you guys too. So yeah, I launched my one of a kind um, crystal. Hi, Mingy Ming. We wanna go walking, walking. Do you wanna go 
go with me? Don't she, whenever she gets like nervous about what we're gonna do or like I'm not sure, she gets she starts to shake. Um, I'm so happy you guys loved the collection. A lot of people purchased, and I'm happy because like you guys know they will like a lot of them already. I think like three or maybe four or five already are gone. Like I can't get them for sure back. Um, and so yeah, so I'm happy that you guys were able to choose the ones you wanted. There are some left though, so if you were thinking about picking one up, don't hesitate. It's really, really worth it. This one is a magenta uh, ruby base with iridescent on top. It's like the most amazing thing in the world. And some, oh he's, I just got here. What are you doing? I just got here. Like, take it easy. Hi, are you marking tires? No. Oh. But, uh, I marked the ground. Oh, I'm only gonna get a coffee and then I'm leaving. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, what did I do wrong? Oh, no. I was picking up trash. Oh, oh, okay. I swear to God, I'm not, if I, if anyone gives me any attitude about the dog, I'm just gonna be upset. Like, shut up, it's a fucking micro Maltese, like, over you. Hi. Do you have the vanilla flavored coffee today? Um, I believe it's hazel. Okay. I'll do that with um, an extra shot in it, please. Um, a small and a large cup, though, so I can put some cream in it. What's the phone? Uh, no, it's the camera. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's cool, huh? What are you buying? Uh, online. That's crazy. I know, right? Oh, no. I thought it was a little phone. You watched that would have been even cooler. Be <laughs> People tight, think it is a phone. Yeah. That's a nice little camera. Yeah. Just... You could put it anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Wedding or something. Yeah, you know? exactly. Exactly. That's what I do with my friends. It's fun. Hey, little one. What's her name? Ming Shi. She's What's a she? tough girl. Oh, look at her. I know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a nice cute can. Yeah, it's fun. They have it in black. I prefer it. <laughs> She is a service the, dog. So what duties does he perform? I honestly don't want to be harassed. I just came in for a coffee. I'm not going to shop what, around. I'm, I'm not I'm harassing you. I'm doing my job. I understand, I'm but I'm leaving. Okay, okay, well, the dog is not allowed in store. Lessons. So fucking annoying. I wasn't even, like, going shopping. I was just going in to get a fucking coffee. Like, everyone working there was obviously fine with the dog, petting the fucking dog. Like, I just don't like 
I don't, it's just fucking weird. Like, it just bothers me. Like, if I had like a nasty fucking dog, like slobbering everywhere, I don't know. I get it. I get it that if I let one person in, I have to let everyone in. But it's just annoying. I'm just getting a coffee. I was walking out of the door. Like, I was walking out. At the point that I'm walking out of the place, there's no reason to, like, ask me about the dog. Like, leave me the fuck alone. <sighs> I'm just shaken up. I just hate the confrontation. It's like, and I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to give them the answer they want. Like, it's none of your business why I have the dog with me or why not. Like, I'm not, not I'm honestly not coming back here again. Like, I should have not, come, like, come to the Gelson's, but... I felt like, uh, like, for example, the Galsons that I went to, where I had the coffee that I loved, every single, the manager, everyone came up to the dog, they love the dog, the dog, this and that, oh my god, they were holding it, and now this one, they don't like the dog, it's like, either you love the dog or you don't like the dog, you love the dog and you don't, like, I, I get harassed at some places, I don't get harassed at others, and it's the same company, it's the same place, just different location, like, it's just... Like, ease the fuck up. Like, shut up. I'm just getting a goddamn fucking coffee. Like, get out of my face. You mean to leave the dog in the fucking car? Like, no. I'm so over everyone. Like, so annoying. And what am I supposed to do? Like, it's just... Why don't you just leave me alone? Like, I wasn't... It's not like I was... I don't know. I was getting a coffee and leaving. I'm so annoyed. Anyway, I'm gonna try the coffee here right now. Even though it's probably gonna taste like shit to me because... Now everything is just ruined. He ruined my video. He ruined my morning. Now he totally ruined my coffee. Like, the, the annoying thing about it is it too. Like when he asks like, what service does the dog provide? Like I could just pull something out of my ass. Just shut up. I mean, I know he's just doing his job. I get it. I'm not mad at him as a person. I'm mad at the situation. Because some Gelsons love her. Some Gelsons don't. Some play, you know what I mean? It's like, get your shit together. Coffee's fucking good. Coffee is on fucking point, you guys. I got the, oh, it's so good. Okay, anyway. I'm just gonna go back in again with the dog. I don't care. You're not gonna fucking scare me away from my new coffee place. Actually, you are. <laughs> I'm never coming back here again. Oh, you guys, I should show you. I brought these, um, my... I brought the, the stones with me, actually, because, no, it's not a treat. You want a treat? Okay. She wants a treat. You poor little thing. Everyone loves me. There's something like... She's a little dog with a bow in her head and a sweatshirt on. Like, is she really going to, like... And she she gets groomed once a week. I brush her, her hair every day. Like, she's the most clean thing in the world, okay? She lives, like, better than half the fucking population of the world, 100%. You guys, okay. Let me just have some more of this coffee so I can like calm down. Hello? Hello. Hi. Yes, what's up? I didn't call. Oh, you said call me. Oh my God, I texted Nick to call me. Sorry, <laughs> I just went to, I'm like filming and I just went to Gelson's and I got kicked out with the dog, like they were mean to me, so I was gonna tell him. Serious? <laughs> They all, they're just, the I don't fuck? fucking get it because there's, I, every time I go to Gelson's, like, sometimes they, like, the manager comes up and she, like, they love the dog. And other times, like, this guy, the time the manager came up to me and was like, there's no dogs. Like, I forget what, it's just annoying. It's like, either, I don't know, like, what is she doing wrong? I'm going in to get a coffee. Leave me the fuck alone. You know, I was Whole leaving. Foods actually allow service dogs. So I'm really, really No, she, surprised. they, ha they allow service dogs, but they, they grill you about what the dog, like, what service the dog provides for you. Emotional support. There's so many people around me. I hate people. There we go. <laughs> I mean, isn't I don't that get it. I don't get it. So okay, I'm going to put the listing back up. Uh, okay. Let me know if you need anything. All right, thanks, bye. girl. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, um, I figured I would just, so I got a lot of requests to show the stones up close and personal. I'm not going to show the ones that I don't have any more of. So, if I show some of these stones and they're gone by the time you go to see them online, it's not my fault, just so you guys know. But I'm not going to show like three or four that are gone. So we talked about the one I'm wearing. It's the Acid Zelda. And all of these can be made um, chokers or bracelets. Okay? 
I'm just gonna pull one out. This one, and I'll try to remember the dates. This one is from either the 40s or 50s. All the information is online. This one is Unicorn Skies, okay? It is the most beautiful AB stone I've ever seen. There's purple, a lot of purple in it. I don't know if you can see it right here. It's not picking up the purple. Let me see. I'm gonna sit like this with you guys. I think it might be easier. It's picking up yellow. I don't know why it's picking up yellow, but um, go online to see the colors. Unicorn Skies because I made sure that we really captured the colors. This one is the Blanc Crystal and it's a solid, oh, this one is um, just a very unique color. I don't know, There's. it's not a vintage stone. Very just rare and unique color that's difficult to find. It was probably like a special um, custom color that Swarovski did for a certain brand and then they sold the rest off to a certain supplier and I was able to find them. Okay, this one is um, Blanc Crystal. It's totally solid white with facets. One of my favorites for sure. Really low on that, I know we are. If we even have any more, I'm not sure. This one is Neon Peacock, which we do have some left. Noir Peacock is gone. This is Neon Peacock. So I know whenever I put peacocks up, you guys like them. So if you have a peacock now, imagine yours with all, um, in a neon version. So this is all neon. Okay, the next one is the Mood Stone. Oh my god, I love these oval ones. So this is from this... Hello? Okay, I just went to Gelson's to get a coffee. Hello? I just went to Gelson's to get a coffee, and I was walking out with my coffee, and the manager came up to me and started harassing me with the dog. Palisades, Palisades. He was like, he's like, what services provide? What services provide? He like, wouldn't you? I was just like, I'm leaving. He's like, well, they're not allowed. What service? Like, he asked me three. Because I really like the coffee. Remember what the coffee we got when we were in Calabasas? Is that the closest Gelson's Palisades? I think so. I don't know. I'm just so upset. Like, I was fucking leaving. What? What did he say? What did he say? He's like, hi, ma'am. He's like, I forget. I got it all on tape because I was like, I was felt I was vlogging, and I was like, he's like, are you? He's like, is this a sir? Is it a service dog? He's like, no, there's no dogs allowed, and he's like, unless it's a service dog or something. And I was like, I'm leaving anyway or something. And he's like, well, there's no dogs allowed, and I'm like, I'm leaving. What does it matter? I'm leaving, and he's like, what service does it provide? And I said, honestly, will you stop harassing me? I said, I'm leaving or something like that. I forget how like the conversation went. Why and don't you say it's a service dog, Alex? Because that's not the point. I th because then he was like, "What service does it provide for you?" You know that like question they ask, where it's like, "Oh, you gotta yeah. ask," you know, and it's not like the medical issue. You gotta say what it provides for you, and it's fucking embarrassing. I don't like saying what it does. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it's humiliating to have to have to say that to someone like in public. Oh, I have this dog because I have this problem, and it does this for me exactly. I just think it's fucked up. You chased her at the door. Basically, like basically. Just like, he was done off his shift too. Like he had no tie on. He was like chasing me out the door. Fuck this place. The, the coffee is so fucking good though. Okay, I have to go. I'm trying to film and you're on, on film right now. And I'm not going to get in trouble from you for filming when you don't know again. For what? You're on camera right now. I have to go. I'm on camera. I'm not here. Because you're being heard in your voice. Oh my god. What do you think? Hi everybody, it's me again. Okay, bye Nick. Hang up. How do I hang this up? Bye. Okay. I'm so annoyed. Can we get back to happy things? Okay. Crystal. This is a mood crystal. And you guys, I don't know if the color is picking up there. Okay, there we go. Do you see how it's a mood? So uh, Swarovski made like mood. This is, does not change color though. Just so you know, someone did ask like, does the mood stone change color? No, it doesn't. Swarovski, this is from the 60s, made a mood version crystal. And this is it. Okay. The next one is the caviar crystal. And I don't think I have any of these more left. I think this is sold out, but I'll show it to you just in case. It honestly looks like caviar. It's absolutely freaking amazing. It's black, but it has white facets in it, like white and gray facets. It's crazy. Beautiful. 
The next one is this one. This is the first non Swarovski stone I've ever used. I only try new Swarovski, but I saw this and I really thought it was gorgeous. It's a West German stone, so it's a great quality stone because it's West German. Um, but there's fire opal in it. If you look closely, there's a fiery opal reflects inside of this milky crystal. It's really cool and it's, it's probably from the 40s or 50s. The next one is Estbel, and I think this one's getting low too. It's the perfect teal, um, starry looking, icy princess, AB glowy stone. Um, mean you're shaking because you didn't like that guy. I know, same. Okay, the next one is um, Honeydew Starlight. This one is, I, I think there's some left, even though we started off with not too many, and I'm really surprised. Um, I don't know. I thought this one would go faster than it did. It's one of my very favorites, and that's why I wore it in one of my pictures, too, online. It's a looks like a water drop. It's from the 50s. I think it says online. I, I wrote it. And there's an etched star in the middle. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a light honey, like, melon color green. It's so pretty. It's like a little bubble. It's, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty and different. The next one is something funk and I call um look at that I don't even need to even say anything it's so freaking cool it's from the 60s and like look at that it's so great <laughs> I can't even it's like the best thing ever okay last one but not least I do have um a, not a big supply but I feel like I have enough of these and there it's I think it's the most beautiful one well oh my why did I say that it's the most I just I saw this is the one that really took my heart like I like really took like a breath when I saw it. like among them all but you know okay the, oh, of course not okay I think you see now it is a rainbow AB stone and it has a milky coating kind of finish over it so it's totally a b rainbow with all different colors and then on the outside is a milky finish it's just the most beautiful ridiculous color i've ever seen and it's all pink inside so for some reason if it's not coming pink it's just imagine all pink inside of this gloomy kind of cloud so pretty Okay, you guys know, I can we just like have a, a channel where I just talk about jewelry all day long? Oh my god, I would love to. I really would. Anyway, these are the ones I was taking for photos and things like that, and they're just sitting here. Okay, I'm going to get going. I'm so upset about what happened. I don't know how much of it I'm going to put up, honestly, just because I'm like pissed as fuck. <sighs> fuck this place, dude. Fucking idiots. Never come here again. Sorry for all the interruptions of the phone calls. Um, it's just, it's such a, it's like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like a real vlogger. Like, I have a business and I vlog, so I'm not going to run over. I'm leaving. Okay, there's a lot of people here, like, trying to man, the, man, man everything. Like, like, why is there so much security and everything here? Like, get over it. No, I'm sorry, what can ever happen in this fucking uppity Pacific Palisades bullshit area. Not that it's bad. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like uppity as fuck. Okay. They don't even like dogs here. Okay, if you don't like dogs, then I want to fucking come here anyway. Who the hell doesn't like Ming? Like, I'm sorry. If you don't like my, if you don't like Ming, then you're, there's something wrong with you. There's something fucking. You know what? Can I tell you? I'm going to end it. I'm going to end this vlog. Actually, I might, but I'm going to end this segment with saying this. I... When, you know what, I, I, I totally understand what he, I totally understand what he has to do. What I don't understand is the approach. His approach and his, um, like demeanor and his approach sucked. What he, what I'm more comfortable with and what people would probably appreciate more is if you come up and said, you know, ma'am, thank you so much for your business because he saw that I, I paid, paid for the drink. Because at that point I want to just throw the drink on the floor and walk away. I would, this is how I would have approached it as a business owner. I, and if I had a store, this is how I would, and if I had to do this kind of stuff to people with dogs, I'd say thank you so much for your business. We really value you. Um, unfortunately, or say, unfortunately we only allow serve. No, I don't like that. I don't like that unfortunately. It has to say, thank you so much for your business. You, you know, we love dogs. That's what I would say, we love dogs. Is the dog a service dog just because, say, is the dog a service dog because, um, you know, 
we have we have by law we have to ask this that's what i'd say i put it on the law because it's not on gelson's i would say by law we have to ask this that's what i would say we love you we love dogs so much thank you so much for your business by law we have to ask is the dog a service dog that's what i would feel so much more comfortable i would at that point i would have been like i would have said you know what i would have totally been fine with it i would have totally understood it you don't come up to someone when they purchase something already and harass them and make them and make them make a spectacle out of the situation and make them feel uncomfortable it is so bad okay that's what it is about this they need to train these managers to be a little softer with paying customers i mean it's just not right it's just not right and i feel like things need to be handled different to not just make people feel stupid and like unwanted and like you're like totally like not thankful for for my business do you guys wonder does that make sense i mean i don't know i feel like that's what the issue is um anyway okay i'm going to work i try to listen to music and calm down i'm really upset the coffee is good <laughs> but anyway all right you guys i love you guys so much and I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>